The next story is a story of a man, another man who was kind of on the wire, metaphorically, if not literally. And um, he was a cricket player. And, and the first, one of the first games of cricket that was ever played at the Gabba in Brisbane in 1931, Queensland was playing New South Wales. In those days, the grandstands were full at those games. These days, mm, not so much. Um, and in this particular game, Opening the bowling for Queensland was a guy called Eddie Gilbert. He was a very fast bowler, an indigenous guy. Eddie had grown up uh, at a place that was then known as the Baramba Reserve. It later changed its name to Sherberg. And because of the laws under which Eddie lived his life, he used to require written permission from the superintendent of the reserve before he could go out and play a game of cricket, even when he was selected for his own state. And when the team toured New South Wales and Victoria. They stayed in a hotel, but Eddie didn't. He was given a tent and he oh. camped out on the oval. Um, so you can imagine how difficult that might be. And this particular morning, Eddie was kind of fired up <laughs> with some justification. And the first ball he bowled at the New South Wales opening batsman got him out. And coming into bat for New South Wales then was a guy called Donald George Bradman who, you know, by some accounts could bat a bit. <laughs> and the first ball that Eddie bowled to him, he knocked the bat out of Bradman's hand. And a couple of balls later, Bradman too was back in the pavilion. And thus began the legend of the tearaway Aboriginal fast bowler, Eddie Gilbert. Eddie's career, his cricketing career, ended too soon uh, in some controversy. And... Uh, after that happened, his life fell into disarray. He was never really accepted back into the community that he'd come from. And as we can reasonably surmise, he was never going to be accepted into the, the cricketing community that he played with. Um, I found out that the last 30 years of Eddie's life was spent in a place which is now known as the Walston Park Psychiatric, Psychiatric Hospital, but was then called the Goodner Lunatic Asylum. So it was a place near Ipswich uh, in Queensland. And there, uh, Eddie languished. We don't know. He certainly had dementia and he had a, a drinking problem, but we don't really know, you know clinically what was wrong with Eddie. There he lived and died. Um, for the, and uh, I just imagined him in that hellish place with just little flashes of his life coming back to him. And I wrote this song, which is called Eddie Gilbert's Dream. <laughs> Across the stream at the Bramba Bogey Hole, sun beats down on a black boy's skin, white fellas beat down too. There's read and ride and arithmetic, an old ways gone for you, and any Gilbert Street. Chanting in the stands on a rolling green with a red bowl in his hand. Legends grow and the gather knows it's calling out his name. The dawn is gone, it's Eddie's show, and he plays the white man's game. Stumps are drawn, the game will end Alone now on the ground Forex man's the only friend And a cigarette Burns down in his hand 
time forgets And who can understand An old man there in the fading light In a world of in-between Chase your demons wake in fright That's Eddie's dream Eddie Gilbert's dream Eddie Gilbert's dream.